This interactive video is about property definition in HyperMesh. We have finished geometry cleanup, meshing, and material definition. We are now ready to specify properties. What are properties? Properties are a kind of modeling concept. The property definition includes information about the type of elements, for instance, 2D or 3D elements and their numerical attributes, such as the employed integration scheme. Typically, you don't have to worry about the last one. Just a reminder, in the course of this demo, the Radios bulk user profile is used. And now, in order to create a property collector, just make a right mouse button click in the model browser tab. As with the material collector definition, it is helpful to filter available property options with respect to the type of elements we are looking at, namely, whether the property will be assigned to 1D, 2D, or 3D element. As the model consists of 2D elements, we choose 2D. Here we name the property, prop underscore shells. As with the material collector, we need to specify a card image. For instance, if you are interested in the modeling of composite structures, you may use the card image PCOMP, PCOMPG, or PCOMPGG. For sheet metal structures, as it is the case with this bracket, you simply specify the P shell card image. Note, the reading or spelling of the card image is finite element program dependent. For instance, you will find the card image P shell in the finite element programs Nastron, Radios, and Optistruct. Whereas in Abacus the same card image is called shell section. Here is a simple exercise. Assign the color to the property. My recommendation is not to use gray. Later on we will visualize elements according to their properties. Elements without any properties will be shown in gray, which would cause some kind of confusion if the color gray was already assigned to a property. Here we choose the highlighted gold color. As it becomes evident now, the property collector does not only contain information about the elements, but also references a material collector. Select the material of interest. Of course, the material needs to already be defined. Here we choose steel. If you would like to view or modify the material data, just click on edit. For details about the material collector, please view the respective video. Note. We selected the material name Steel. Its card image is displayed automatically. Now we return to the property tab. We are done with the specification of our very first property collector. Notice that the model browser lists a property collector folder now. The newly created property collector named Prop underscore Shells owns the ID 4 and references the material name Steel with the ID 5. As the card image is p-shell, remember it is used in the context of 2D elements, we also need to say something about the thickness of the bracket. Insert the thickness value, here the thickness is set to 1 mm. We use the unit system, millimeters, to stay consistent as it was also used for the material definition. Let's learn more about the card image, p-shell. To do this, let's look in the help menu. Select the Index tab and enter P shell. The card image P shell is assigned to 2D shell elements and defines its membrane, bending, transverse shear, and membrane bending properties. The fields which are most relevant to you are highlighted in red. Click the Close button to return to the HyperMesh graphical user interface. To view the card image and its assigned values, just click on the property collector with the right mouse button. Activate the card image option. Note, you may change the thickness value at any time within the card edit window. Just update the corresponding field. The material ID and the property ID cannot be changed within the card edit window. To change the ID number of any collector or entity you may employ the renumber functionality located in the menu bar under tools. To change the referenced material, or even to change the card image, just make a right mouse button click on the property in the model browser, and select edit. So far we have created a property collector. However, 
the elements do not know anything about their properties yet. Hence, we need to assign the property to the elements in an additional step. This is shown in the corresponding video. This concludes our video on property definition.